Jews and minorities in Nazi Germany. Reasons why the Nazis hated the Jews. 1. Racial reasons. Nazis had a belief in the Aryan race that pure Germans were the Herrenvolk, the master race and genetically supreme. They were obsessed with the importance of maintaining the purity of the German race and regarded Jews as polluting this purity. 2. Economic reason. Hitler claimed the Jews were controlling the German economy and manipulating it to their advantage. The belief that Jews controlled the banks and big businesses which harmed small businesses. This was typical Nazi scapegoating. 3. Political reasons. Hitler claimed the Jews were in the league with the communists and in with Russia, always suggesting it was them who controlled the governments east and west of Germany and started the war and caused the Great Depression in Germany. Racial views. 1. Aryan race. Belief in an ideal Herrenvolk or master race, the Aryans, Hitler believed them to be the strongest, most intelligent and hard working and would conquer all other races. 2. Survival of the fittest. Hitler believed in social Darwinism, that the strongest would survive and the weakest would die, meaning a pure Aryan Germany would rule the world. 3. Subhuman. Nazis believed other races were inferior to them. Jews, Eastern Europeans known as Slavs, people of different colours and disabled were inferior and deserved either to die or become slaves. He particularly hated Jews and Slavs calling them Untermenschen, known as Slavs. Hitler knew he could not start killing others when he came into office in 1933 as that meant he did not have power. Also the German people elected him to deal with the economic crisis being unemployment and make Germany strong again, not to deal with the Jews. He knew that he had to use propaganda to brainwash people and desensitize them to anti-Semitism. He did however start to re-script the lives of the Jews. He did this in four different stages of persecution between 1933 and 1941. Nazi persecution of the Jews. Hitler used four different stages to persecute the Jews between 1933 and 1941, being identification, violence, separation and extermination. Identification 1. April 1933. A nationwide boycott was organised but it was not widely popular. 2. April 1933. Jews were banned from jobs in the civil service and law, soon followed by bans on them being doctors and dentists. October 1933, the editor's law banned them from being journalists. 3. Limits placed on Jewish children in schools. 4. Nuremberg Laws, 1935. Marriage between Jews and non-Jews was forbidden. They were not allowed in public places like cinemas, cafes or trams. Jews were no longer German citizens and Jews had to wear a yellow star to identify them. Jewish businesses were taken over. 1938. Jews had to register their property. Violence. Hitler's power grew so he began to use propaganda and terror to make things a lot more difficult for the Jews in Germany. Laws were introduced which actively persecuted them. 1934 there were outbursts of violence in the province of Franconia against the Jews. These concerned the authorities who worried about its effect it might have on Nazi Germany's reputation abroad and the potential effect on the economic recovery. 1936 open attacks on Jews were discouraged due to the Berlin Olympics. Nazis did not want their propaganda successes to be marred by charges of anti-Semitism, but after the games finished in 1937, attacks were booming frequently more violent. Attacks intensified in particularly after the Australian Anschluss in 1938. Kristallnacht 1938. This stepped up tension and violence towards the Jews, known as the Night of the Broken Glass. The killing of a Nazi diplomat in Paris by a Jewish refugee who wanted to raise concerns to the world about Nazi Germans treatment towards the Jews triggered the event. Hitler and the Nazis manipulated the event to spark a frenzy of violence. 1,000 synagogues were burnt and Jewish businesses and homes damaged or destroyed. 30,000 Jews rounded up and placed in concentration camps. 100 Jews were killed. Jews were made to clean the devastation and find millions of marks to pay for the damage cause. Kristallnacht signalled the intent of the Nazi regime to use violence against the Jews. World War II gave the Nazis the opportunity to do the final solution the eradication of Jews from Europe. Jews were first sent to ghettos across Eastern Europe, then to concentration camps to die from work or gas chambers. This is the Holocaust, where over 6 million Jews were killed. Separation September 1939 Curfew introduced for all Jews and radio sets confiscated. The beginning of the war led to a stepping up of the campaign against Jews. Nazi conquest of Eastern Europe led to access to greater population of Jews in the occupied countries. Jews were moved into ghettos and in January 1940, Jews confined to the ghettos in Polish towns of Lodz, Warsaw, Lublin, Random 
and love. September 1941, she was ordered to wear Star of David badge as identification. Extermination Summer of 1941, anticipation of the Holocaust began, Nazis to convert Auschwitz into extermination camp. January 1942, the 1C conference plans for the final solution, work or gas the Jews to death. Jews were deported from ghettos in the east and on to death camps of Belzec, Tremblinka, Sobador, Majdanek and Auschwitz. By the end of World War II, six million Jews were killed. Historians' views Historians were divided on whether the final solution originated with Hitler long ago or with the beginning of World War II. Pre-planned Historian Klaus Hald argues Hitler's ideas in Mein Kampf and his speeches were directly responsible for the Holocaust as it was his eventual aim. Encouraged by war Historian Martin Brosnat argues that the influence of the war acted as a catalyst for the conquest of Eastern Europe. The war opened up huge concentrations of Jews in Russia and Poland. German armed forces and the SS had to make a decision on how to deal with the Jews. Instructions were issued to the SS to kill as many as possible. Wartime emergency made it possible to keep the extermination as secret as possible from the majority of the population. The German people would have hesitated to support an official policy of mass murder had they known about the extermination camps back in 1943. Who suffered? 1. Jews. 6 million Jews were wiped out in the final solution. 2. Disabled. Hitler regarded them as genetically weak and a danger to the German race. He ordered a mass sterilization of them and a euthanasia program called T4 started aiming at mercy killing. Mentally disabled were killed by lethal injection, starvation or mobile gassing vans. 3. Political opponents. 1933 imprisoning communists and later political opponents such as social democrats and preachers. 4. Homosexuals. Hitler regarded them as genetically weak and had them sent to concentration camps identified by wearing pink triangles. 5. Gypsies. Roman gypsies were a distinct group that were rounded up and killed. 2 million died. 6. Work shy. Alcoholics, tramps and beggars lifted and grouped as asocials. 7. Jehovah's Witnesses. Thousands died due to the fact that they would not fight in the war. Treatment of the disabled. Sterilization. Hitler believed certain groups in society would damage the purity of the master race if they were allowed to have children. Believing that defective people should be prevented from breeding to prevent hereditary deformities. July 1933. A law was passed stating anyone who suffered from feeble-mindedness depression, serious physical disability, blindness, deafness or were serious alcoholic could be forced into sterilization in the aim to weed out so-called genetic defects from the total German gene pool. Forced sterilization began in January 1934. Approximately 300,000 men and women were sterilized between 1933 and 1939. Thousands of people died from the operation. People sterilized were patients in mental hospitals and other institutions majority aged between 20 and 40, equally divided between men and women. Most were Aryan Germans. Non-Aryans weren't worthy to remain in a hospital. More than 200 hereditary health courts were established. Doctors were required to register with these courts every known case of a hereditary illness. The sterilization law was followed by the marriage law of 1935, which required for all marriages proof that any offspring would not have any disabling hereditary diseases. Euthanasia the Nazi T4 euthanasia program was introduced in 1935. Doctors were given the power to administer a mercy death to the incurably sick via an official euthanasia program. The name T4 came from its place of origin being Berlin Tiergartenstrasse 4. Any baby or toddler identified as mentally disabled by a medical professional would be taken from their family and put in special children's wards in one of 20 hospitals. Healthcare workers killed at least 5,000 children through lethal injection or starvation. T4 was extended to adults and six centres were set up where the disabled were gassed, one being Hartham Castle in Austria. In all, T4 claimed at least 200,000 lives.